in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. You're such a fucking no. I love it. I want you like an egg. Make my fin. I don't know if the song goes like that or it doesn't, but that joint is fire. It's got like over 75 million views on YouTube in like a week. I need one of my fragrance videos to go that viral. Maybe I should ask Kanye to jump in one of my videos and talk absolute nonsense about horrors. Could work. I'm super hyped because this is a rare opportunity that just doesn't knock on my door. I rarely get to do videos on new releases. Yo, Cuba, why don't you get them new releases? Simple, because some brands don't fuck with the kid. I'm too aggressive. I'm too vulgar. I'm too raunchy. I'm too street. Yo, brands, I got a quick message for you. Congratulations. You played yourself. Because I'm the biggest entertainer in the game with more growth than half the people in YouTube for me yapping that shit. Just saying, because I got that new Parfums de Marley Percival, and I'm probably the only motherfucker right now who got you the coupon on the new release. So let's roll my motherfucking music and see how your boy got you that radada. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Bringing you that fire new release that I rarely ever get because I'm super excited. Now, there's been a few reviewers that already got their paws on it real early and talked about it. But you know, until it touches my hands, it don't mean nothing. The beautiful people over at Max Aroma, my team, bless the kid with the new Percival release. And they was like, yo, Kuba, check it out, B. Let us know what you think. And I was like, all right, swing that my way. Cause we all know I'm a Parfums de Marley fan. This ain't brand new. Just cause I got the new, new shit, I'm automatically a Parfums de Marley fan. Check your references in the rest of these videos. So when I heard all these reviewers talking about a fresher Parfums de Marley, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. I needed to get my paws on it real quick to see what the hype was about or not about. I went to the Parfums de Marley event last night, saw some of y'all beautiful people there. Sadly, I wasn't there for too long because you know, shit happens. But I've gotten some mixed feelings from different people about this beautiful fragrance, none other than the new release by Parfums de Marley, Percival. Obviously the standard Parfums de Marley presentation and the size it's supposed to be, but this blue dough, it's like purple color. I love this shit. Now, this is Parfums de Marley Freshy. Some people were disappointed by this fragrance saying that, yo, it's not groundbreaking. It's not litty. It's not Parfums de Marley DNA. My opinion is this shit is lit. I was funny, one of you viewers that I met last night, I believe the name goes by NYC Fragrances, made a good valid point. To him, this had some similarities to Platinum Chanel Ego Weast. And wearing this shit the entire day, literally from 5 a.m., it does have some similar attributes to Ch Platinum Chanel, so he's definitely right. But on steroids, because from 5 a.m. to now, this shit is still on my skin. It's still performing. It's still doing extremely well. This is some fire freshy. Opening for me was Chanel-esque. It's got that citrusy bergamot. It's musky, lavender type floral. You got that cardamom and tonka chilling in there. That deliciousness that I'm fucking enjoying. A lot of people have been saying, yo, this isn't groundbreaking. Neither was Elysium. Elysium by Roja Dove was not groundbreaking, but motherfuckers still spent two plus easy on Elysium and Elysium still sold like a motherfucker because the shit was popping. Nothing revolutionary about Elysium other than the fact that the shit smelled awesome. This to me smells awesome. It performed super well on my skin for a freshie. It's been on my skin all fucking day and it's better than that Galloway joint. Just my opinion, I don't fuck with Galloway at all because that was their other freshie. That shit for me is heh <laughs> heh. And if you a rookie in the Parfums de Marley game, my suggestion is to start off with something like this so you can see what their performance and their sillage is like. This is not a representation of what their other fragrances smell like. This is just a introductory fragrance for Parfums de Marley. I'm going to reach for this more often. Most people will be like, nah, I don't know because it's mad expensive. This is a 4.2. 
your boy got you that coupon. Check the link in the description. I wish they would have dropped this shit in the summertime because this shit would have got more play than that stupid Drake Kiki song. See if more freshies had this type of performance, the game be real different out here. It's a safe bet. It still performs like a Parfums de Marley does. And I got you a dope ass price on this shit for two weeks. You gonna be mad at that? Fuck out of here. Nothing more, nothing less to say about this joint. Parfums de Marley, I think you guys did a splendid fucking job. This is the Parfums de Marley version of Roja Elysium. Nothing groundbreaking, just something that I think is awesome. Is this a ball sprayer? Shit. I give this shit a spray and a quarter. Mmm, you're such a fucking hell. I love it. It just makes me feel a little thotty. Woo. Wow, fuck. That shit hit me. Woo! If you don't buy it, cool. Test it. Let me know what y'all motherfuckers think. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and these glorious balls. Thanks to my family over at Max Room for blessing me and for blessing y'all with that discount. Check the link in the description. Use that link. Use the code in the description. Save some bread on it if you've been anticipating this. If not, test it and let me know what y'all motherfuckers think. I love y'all bitches and I'll see you next time. You know who it is. It's the dawn. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag, when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would ever.